Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good morning. This is it is an room. ugly, oh, nasty morning. Yuck. And I just heard Franco's uh, solo's voice. So, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Yo, okay. We're back in effect on this nasty, rainy day. And we're here to talk Nick Summer League. Because yesterday's performance, for the most part, was a much, much better performance in in, in outing for our our young men. Uh, Obadiah. Obadiah Top. That boy is growing up in front of our eyes, and he's having his own... Kevin Knox-esque, you know, Summer League MVP man right now. He's doing a lot more or being comfortable in doing a lot more with the ball. But you all, I, honestly, I saw this from him last season. I saw the idea. He wasn't really good about turning the idea into a reality at that time. But since he definitely has embraced his ability and what he can do. And I really love watching him take command out there. Obi's going to be somebody, guys, I'm trying to tell you. And as he's growing and we have him coming off the bench, it's not about supplying Randall's numbers and he has to be a starter because he was pick eight. Man, listen. I, I I really hope basketball isn't necessarily run by the way that we on Twitter think it's run by. Because, yo, sure enough, I will draft a player fifth, fourth, sixth, whatever. But if I feel like he's not ready to, to start or if I have a bona fide starter, I am in no way, shape, or form in any rush to do anything. And I know I will have to pay the youngster in four years, but guess what? I'll pay the youngster in four years. Because at the end of the day, my guy is always going to age out, and we will always need those fresh new news to come in and either step into that role or raise the role up. I mean, so I'm sorry. I, I don't have a problem with Randall and Obi playing together. I have zero problem. Anything offenses need to have, defenses I should say, they should have a problem with it because when Randall comes off the bench, I mean when he comes off the floor and sits down and now you got this young beast coming in you know it, it's not going to be a break <laughs> you know what I mean for the defense it's not going to be a break You know, you're not coming in and getting a lesser player and Again, this is there's day two of summer league, so he he has to meet he has to maintain this level and then increase upon that even a little bit more for it to really be impactful this season. But it's really a great sign to see his confidence, to see him understanding that he does indeed belong in this league. You know, that's that's great right now, and that's exactly what he needs. IQ. IQ is a gunner, guys. I know they're trying to make him a point guard. He's a gunner. He he is a he is a shoot first point guard. I'll say it like that. And I think honestly, our offense needs a pass first point guard leading it, but a gunner on the wings. You know what I mean? At the two spot, IQ is gonna eat lunch. He's going to drive folk crazy. Now, Quentin Grimes, Quentin Grimes induced McBride. Dude, man, we got some hounds. You know, and, and McBride's shot is... Is, is is there? No, actually, I'm Grimes shot. I like Grimes shot. I like Grimes shot. 
I'm visualizing both of these folk in my head as we speak. That's why I'm kind of looking that way. Uh, I mean, under the tutelage of the two point guards that we now have in-house, I really think our backcourt as a whole is, 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 is well improved. It's well improved. Uh, the, the, it's funny. I thought I saw Kuzmingas back in, 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 the, in the lineup yesterday, and it wasn't. It was the other kid, Rock. I'm going to call him Rock because that's a hard name, and we good until I get used to him. I'm going to call him Rock. And you know what? It's funny. Rock really didn't do a whole lot yesterday, but I kind of liked what he was giving us more than I liked what Vildoza was giving us. And it's not a guarantee Vildoza makes the squad. But I'm also not out on Vildoza yet either. I know I was a little hard on him on yesterday's uh, quick minute. And he didn't really play much today, which... Somebody on uh, Twitter yesterday hit me up, was like, yeah, y'all, you do realize how tired he really, really was, right? You know, so maybe they, and just like the guy suggested, they played uh, Rock and they let Vildoza rest, which hopefully the next game, Vildoza will be more to the Vildoza that uh, we've seen some footage on, because we need that guy in, in, in effect just so that we know exactly what we have. But we're uh, two games down into a three, uh, three more left, I believe, for the summer league. And again, for the guys that are trying to get a job elsewhere, you know, I, I, I'm pulling for you always. Good luck, man. It's a hard road, man, when when you're not drafted and you got, or when you were drafted, but you didn't stick and you, you went overseas and you're trying to get back. It's a very tough life. So I ain't here to knock nobody on that. Good luck. You know what I mean? But for the, the prospects and the guys that we have going forward, this summer league is going to galvanize their chemistry, and I can already see IQ. I and mean, of course, they talked about it a bunch yesterday. But even on that back on, on that backwards pass from uh, OV to IQ, you know he knew IQ was going to be back there because that's just how they do. So the chemistry thing is great. Yes, we're seeing it already. We've heard that uh, IQ and OV have relatively been inseparable or inseparable, excuse me, uh, since the uh, offseason began. I, I, I really, really like that. You know, it, again, it speaks to team. It speaks to continuity. You know, these are all the little things that make teams better. You know. So, again... Summer League is cool. I, I definitely enjoyed yesterday's game. Chris Duarte is a real player, man. I really like what I saw from him yesterday. And he was on my big board uh, going to the Knicks. So even though he didn't go, you know, he still seems like a player that, you know, they could have used. And that's fine. But, again, I like what Grimes showed us. I like what McBride showed us. Jericho didn't show us as much yesterday as he did the game before but he's just really an over athletic young man with hops and bounce and energy and you really love that you really love that you know I mean it's cool that folk are liking what they saw from him already but again we are in a weird habit of downing our players and we gotta cut I mean dude it's it's who wants to play for us if we keep whining about players all the time? Like, you know, we are, I hope we don't whine about Knox this year. I mean, already some folk have been like, yo, all right, so we're getting rid of Nerlens, right? Because Sims played well. Like, why we got to get rid of Nerlens? We just signed him up, yo. Why Why we got to do that? You know, it's like, I'm. I, it's just a thing we don't need. I feel like in my humble, humble opinion, 
It's just something we don't need. So, look, I hope you guys enjoyed the Summer League uh, game yesterday against the Pacers. I'm glad we got the dub because, yo, I don't, I don't like losing. So, you know, I, I like lessons learned and all that good stuff, and I don't like losing. So, I'm glad we got that dub. Uh, I'm glad our guys are really starting to come together. You can see that. Uh the defense is still not there, but again, a lot of the guys that are playing on this team, we're not going to see ever again. So it's not like they're going to remember these defensive sets or anything like that. Um, but yeah, man, I actually, I really like what I'm seeing from our prospects. We've got a lot of guys that are defensive minded, uh, that hound the basketball, that rebound the basketball well, you know, I mean, it. I'm really looking forward to, now I'm looking forward to Summer League being over after I see these next three games, of course, and then next month, them getting into camp and the youth getting in with the vets and everybody starting to get to know each other or re or, or relearn each other, so to speak, for those who weren't hanging out with each other during the off season, and then getting to work and getting back to uh the good Nick News. Now, again, I will say this uh, real quick on the Kevin Durant staying. That's cool. Uh, I know there's some fans that believe that Kyrie staying. It's interesting that they're like, well, if we keep Kevin Kyrie, then we, we can do without Harden. Or if we keep uh, Kevin and Harden, we can do without Kyrie. I hear you. I hear you all. Whatever you guys think is best for your organization, but I really am at, I'm not surprised that Kevin stayed, but it does bode well for you, for the next future. And quiet as kept, it bodes well for New York basketball. No, there is no rivalry yet, Mike Basiglia and Alex B. Uh, there's just not one yet, Nick Central. And no, I'm not a screwball for saying that. But if the tea leaves are reading correctly and everything keeps trending in the direction that it's trending, the rivalry will come. And it will be a monster between Barclays and MSG. It's, it will be a beast. But let's, let's keep it real. The first real rivalry the Knicks got as of right now is Atlanta. So those Atlanta games this season coming are going to mean a whole lot to Knicks fans, I'm telling you. So while it's not there yet, Kevin being there and us growing as a, as a team, that bodes well for New York basketball, and it definitely points in the direction of, of sowing some seeds for some really good rivalries in the, in the near future, especially if everything keeps aligning. And Nets and Knicks end up with some playoff battles, then definitely it will be in effect. Ah, it's the good Nick news, guys. It's the good Nick news. Now remember, today is Tuesday, so tomorrow the Candid Corner will be in effect. We're going to be talking football tomorrow, definitely getting us. Again, everybody ready for the upcoming football season. We just had the Hall of Fame game and the Hall of Fame ceremonies. We had one Saturday and one Sunday for the 2000 and uh, 2020 and the 2021 classes. So big suits to all of the uh, NFL Hall of Famers. And so tomorrow, go on to the Candy Corner and we're going to get busy on some foosball. And then definitely this Saturday... Danny B and I will most definitely be in effect with a probably a longer Knicks corner than 30 minutes because we've got a lot to cover from last week along with this week. So just stay tuned, man. The content is coming. And we appreciate every view, every opinion, every comment. So thank you all. And we'll holler.